have you ever gotten to a, a like a uh, situation where your character is about this right here? They, you are so close to being, uh, to the point where you don't know what you're going to do with it anymore other than set it somewhere and let it rot on your hard drive. Well, this is a perfect video for you. So if you have just a little time and a little patience, you too can make some ga game animations that are controllable by your keyboard. Yes, could you imagine setting up different uh, scenarios where you can have an idle, a jump, walk, whatever, and have it all ran from your keyboard, mm -hmm. and free, mind you, okay? So what I'm going to do is take this character into the Blender game engine, mount its textures, just like you see here, and show you how to basically skin him a little bit, and what we're going to do is put just maybe one bone through his upper torso and his arm, just real fast to kind of show you an example of how it works. And then I'll assign it some kind of uh, action. And the action is going to be controlled by servo units within the engine. I know it sounds all sweet and cool and complex. It's really not that bad. But I definitely should say that people that have, you know, a whole bunch of monsters and cave trolls and all those cool ZBrush things that we've developed over the years... If you have some of those on set into your side, just rotting on your hard drive, now is the time to learn. So, meet me in Blender, and uh, what, I'll explain what we need along the way. And that's going to be in the next video.